Hello, this is David Darcy, here with another YouTube video about how to play and teach the pentatonic flute. First thing to know, left hand is the hand that goes closer to your mouth. And you're going to be playing with your thumb and your pointer and your ring man. The tall man is going to be um, just staying on this piece of wood there between the, the holes there. And then with your right hand, your thumb will be under, your ring man will be here in the place between the holes. Um, so pointer and tall man have holes and so does the baby finger on this hand. So baby finger on the left hand doesn't do any work. It's best if um, you and your students can just learn to keep the uh, tall man on the left hand and the ring man on the right. With just from, keep them from moving. Just leave them there and move the others. The easiest note to play on this instrument is all holes open. And um, so the first song that I recommend that parents and teachers use with their children is what I call the thumb song. It's just lifting off and putting back down the thumb. So if we can, you're welcome to come up with your own words. I came up with some and you're welcome to use this too or change them as you like. Uh, here's how it looks. I'll accentuate the movements and how it sounds. Now these notes are very, very high for me, but I'll do my best to sing them just so you get the words that I've used with my students. Dum is what we play with just our thumb. And it's a silly little song, but it's exciting for little children to just be able to play anything. It's best if they know how to sing it before they learn how to play it, because then the phrasing and such, how long to wait on the different notes, they just know that. The other thing that's um, useful for them to be taught is that when we have multiple notes on the same, um, well, I should say multiple syllables on the same note. That instead of going hoo, 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 and stopping the breathing, um, it's possible just to um, go la, 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 so that our tongue is sending a wave of air through the flute. Listen to this uh, aspect of that um, song again. Right? So, just, just those two. Now, it's nice to also be able to use your hands to show the students if you're going to the high note or the low note, right? So, um, we could say this, when I'm even here, that's the thumb hole covered. When I'm up higher, that means I want you to play the higher note by taking your thumb off. So, they could be imitating us if we're playing in front of them. But we also have this possibility of playing um, dum dum is what we play with just our thumb. Alright, and then no doubt you're ready to go on um, and add the point. Your students might not be. After one day, they might think, oh, I've got one song, don't overwhelm them. You might want them just to be happy as can be to have this one song so you've got something else in the pocket that you can uh, bring them next time it's needed. So this then um, is called when pointer comes to play. So we're going to have now, instead of just the two notes, we now have three because we are going to have the all holes open. We're going to have just the thumb hole closed. We're going to have the third note, which is where the pointer is also down. Again, ring man is down, or sorry, tall man, on the left hand is down and ring man on the right, but those are not covering holes. They're just helping to hold the flute. All right. So we start with the thumb hole covered, and I'll again make sure that you can see when I'm pulling off my thumb.
when our pointer comes to play, thumb and she sing hip hooray. Watch that again. Alright, and then again, if you want to be showing uh, with the hands, you could have this is where the thumb hole is covered, this is where the thumb is off, thumb hole covered, and now both thumb hole and pointer holes cover. So, uh, when our pointer comes to play, thumb and she sing hit. Hooray! So you can see how the, it's just these different languages uh, that the children are learning to um, translate from what they're seeing to what they're playing on the flute. Uh, it's a delightful activity. Um, let me play through both of them one more time and that'll be it for this time. Alright, I'll be back again with more videos soon.